All right, good morning. We are on <clears throat> this uh, strip center roof with a walk-in freezer that um, is not cooling. I haven't been inside yet. I just came straight to the roof in October. Sorry, it's my leak detector. Uh, in October, when I came here the first time, uh, this unit was a little short. I leak checked it. I didn't find a leak and I topped it off. And again, that was the first time I'd ever been here. So I had nothing to go on. Well, uh, it's not running currently, but assuming that it's short again, we'll see. I haven't been inside, but I wanted to just come up here and do the, put a leak test to everything. And I took the top off and I started getting a little bit of hits over here. But if we look, so I wondered if it wasn't rubbing out coming through here, but I don't see it. But the only place we have what looks like, yeah, so it's definitely oil residue on that. So I'm guessing we're leaking from the flare. I'm going to get a rag and clean all this up and then see what we can find. All right, so she just fire up. Definitely we got side glass problems. Uh, the fan also did not start, but it may be, I gotta look at how it's wired in. No, no, nope. So when you look at how the fan's wired in, the fan comes in the upper, that's here. It runs black wire straight to the contactor, white wire straight to the contactor. So when that pulls in, that fan should have run. So it's actually going off on high pressure at the moment. Plot twist. All right, and take a look. When I try to spin it, it just locks up. We've got oil all over the back of the motor here. Right, I haven't touched that. I touched this. This is me. So, the motor's blown out its oil. Which then, with the fan blowing backwards, in theory, maybe the oil that's all over this. And it's not refrigerant. We'll see. There she is. So, double banger. We're losing refrigerant. And we got a locked up fan motor. All right, and in case I've been unclear, when you push this, you get 208 volts, 240 volts to the fan. The fan don't go. And it's, uh, I did this with two hands to see, because again, if you have a bad capacitor, then the fan won't go, but Look at how it doesn't spin at all. You should be able to hit it and it spins freely. So, Boomba. Fan chain. All right, so we're dealing with 240, so let's just look at it. Orange is line one. Black and red gets insulated together. Well, I said line one, I'm sorry. Let's look again. Orange is line two. Black and red just gets insulated together white is line one and yellow gets insulated then you have this separate yellow to orange dealios which control your rotation so black and red together yellow all right so my my orange and my white lines i have enough wire to just run them straight through put new terminal ends on them connect them there so moment of truth hey look at there and we've already done the rotation proper, which was counterclockwise from the shaft end. So we're drawing air this way. Now we're still probably gonna be running low on gas. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see, we definitely had a leak. But it may have been cycling off on high head pressure. Oh, what are we doing here? Yeah, it's definitely low. All right, well, I'm gonna let this get processing. I'm gonna grab my bottle, I'm gonna uh, gauge up. 
We're gonna weigh in what little bit it's gonna need. And then when it's off to pressure and everything's running, we'll leak check it again under full load. All right. All right, we got a clear sight glass. It really did not take any gas at all. Um, given that we charged it up um, very not long ago and didn't catch that leak, I'm not gonna charge it for the half a pound of refrigerant it just took. But it's funny, the assumption was that I was off on low pressure and the reality is no, I was off on high pressure. It was still functioning properly, although it had that little leak, which is crazy. Uh, I was able to just double wrench it, tighten it up. And you can see now we got no, No bubbles. No bubbles. The box is 40 degrees. My head pressure is a little higher than I would like it to be. Um, then again, it is 80 something degrees this morning. Uh, but I just cleaned these coils not two months ago. But what I think I'm going to do is throw. Uh, I've got my hose already right here, so I think I'm gonna just spray them out. They're doing a lot of construction on the front side. So the main road's out there and they're tearing all that up. So I wonder if we're not just killing everything with the dust. She's coming down. Oh yeah, she's getting there. She's getting there. I said I just two months ago did this. Look at the stuff coming out of the inside of the... Oh man. Wow. The amount of air I can feel moving through there. And then, because the surface looks clean. I, I hosed it out and I, uh, I missed an opportunity when I had the fan out, right? I could have cleaned it, but I was like, I don't need to clean it. I just cleaned it a few months ago, but... Yeah, so I sprayed this one and I sprayed that one just to be sure. Uh, up there is all AC units. Now she's shaking off the water still, but... Yeah. More better. Not 325. There's where she's holding. That's about where I want her. Beautiful. Box is still 20 degrees, so that's why that's high. We're just gonna wait for it to hit zero, and that's a wrap.